Bonefine Hustler here. I'm in California. Overcast, sort of sunny California. It's like, it's like 6.50 in the morning. It's gonna be a beautiful day to do some thrifting. What's going on guys and gals? Chris Bonafide Hustler coming to you live from the inside of Rented Space Pod. We're here in San Diego and I'm gonna do a micro meetup. I only put one, actually a post on Instagram and I made one YouTube video that didn't get far of a reach. So we're gonna see if anyone shows up today. I'd be happy if one or two people showed up, honestly. So we're gonna go to three thrift stores. I'm gonna go in, I'm way early here, and uh, I'm gonna do some reading in the Starbucks. And then we're gonna get a hot shot going on. One of the thrift stores is across the street down there. There's a Goodwill way down there, and then there's a Rock thrift store way down there. But it's still pretty close. I got a question for you guys that are watching this right now. Where should I travel to next and thrift? Like, what hometown should I go to? And uh, yeah, put that down below. Maybe I'll consider going there. I thought today would be a great day to do a live hot shot. So I'm gonna get some of this stuff on camera, and uh, we'll see who meets up. First thing Sitting I here at the noticed, Starbucks. That's uh, so the first thing I noticed when I watched this video that some guy was in his doctor. We got some people here. We're about to go thrifting soon. Uh, looks like there's about three people. We're about to go through things soon. Just a small little group. Should be a lot of fun, so let's go. All right, so real quick, I'm gonna introduce the people before we get to the thrift store. We got Manuel right there, and we have Vanessa right there. We got Mark getting uh, coffee right there. All right, there's the first Goodwill right there. We've got our crew right here. Little rental spaceship right there. It only has 600 miles on it total. And they're asking me questions about it. I can't even answer them. It's not even my car. It's too brand new. Even if it was my car, I wouldn't even know what to do. There it is. Can you believe this is a Sentra? Look how big these Sentras are. <laughs> yeah, that's what I drive. <laughs> <laughs> look at this thing. Look at the tree and look at the Sentra. That is a Sentra. What? Let's see what we can find in this Goodwill. I have found some great things here in the past when I come to San Diego. One of the most notable ones that I remember, just like right off the top of my head, was a $4 pedometer. Uh, I don't know if it was an Omron or whatever, but it was a pedometer and it sold for like a hundred bucks on FBA. It was crazy and it sold in like three weeks. Uh, this one's I really organized too. I really like better. Like yeah, those? Yeah. Those can be worth some coin. Oh, stummy me. I know what that is. Those are Hoka Taurus. There's a Hoka Taurus, there's a Baxter box, but that one looks like it's kind of messed up. That's it. Mm -hmm. You get drop off everything there. Yeah, what would you find, Mark? They're 15. 15? Cool. Yeah, they look pretty good. And then you found it on your phone? Yeah, the comps. Uh, comps are looking pretty strong. Looks like it's a $65 shoe, easily. With 16 shipping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Really yeah. good. Very good. What are you getting, man? So far, I'm going to check those out. They're in Timberland, Timberland sandals. Okay. And, I mean, they need a little clean. So you're going to check them out as in like you know you're going to buy them or you're going to check them soon? Check them soon. I just grabbed them oh, right okay, now. Okay, just grabbed them. I just grabbed it right now. All right. I haven't I haven't looked up comps yet. Cool. Are you actually going to be doing any shopping? Because you got to take stuff back. Uh, yes. I brought a bag, a big duffel bag to take home. <laughs> I was like, I'm ready, dude. So my goal is to pay for this trip. <laughs> Get it done. Up there. See, those are the ones in the case and they're brand new. They're 60 bucks here, but they're uh, 100. Not bad. I'm pretty sure. Have you ever heard of this before? No. Some. 100 with 1280. I don't know if that's Japanese look writing, it looks yeah. like. Hmm. <laughs> Mark said this, is, this has my name all over it. Yeah, I'm going to make him wear it. That kind of does look fire. like. Yeah, this is my little Street Fighter rival right here. <laughs> um, yeah, that looks like something that a dude with a black Centro would wear. Yeah, that's right true. There. It the sole. Oh, the sole. I mean, it feels kind of cheesy. That's no, um, cheesy too. Yeah, but there's, there's something about it. There's a Michael Jackson one. Actually, let me see this real quick. This is, I thought it was cheesy, but it might not be cheesy. Let me see this thing. Oh, the liner is actually there. That's good. That's the listing. Two suede. So this one's a suede pre-owned. Mm -hmm. This one's smooth. Still says Danner, yeah. Well, who makes this one? Danner. Denier, okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I'd probably pass on that one. Yeah, just one. This is like a motorcycle jacket. Genuine leather motorcycle jacket. Yeah, yeah I've heard of this brand. Do I don't do clothing. I don't do clothing very much. So like, I I don't know. But I mean, nine bucks. 
Yeah. I mean, look at the soles going for 50s. Some of them, 37. Yeah. I mean, I, mean, I think this design is considerably better than a lot of the ones you just showed yeah. me. So like, yeah. maybe that's a $50 shirt. It's hard to say. I don't, I don't do clothing. I've heard of this brand. I just I'm don't do clothing. You know you're your money. The back section. There's like a million things back here. Whoa, there's a surfboard. There's a surfboard back here. Is there any of these that are like this worth not a good one? No, but is there like because I see these a lot. Yeah. And I just don't. I just don't. Yeah, you want to stick with just one brand. I mean, I would stick with just Bojan Manfrotto. That's the only okay. brand I would stick with. Yeah. To start off, there anything Velborn or like Sunpack, I wouldn't mess with it. This <laughs> All right, we're leaving. No. Mark got those Nike shoes. Yeah. Nike and he got that Bugatti shirt. Yeah. So Very with nice. The, with my discount, I paid twenty-two for both. Um, you just learned about a discount here, and you're kind of mad about yourself. I am mad. <laughs> what at happened, it. dude? I spent thousands at Goodwill. I could have saved so much money. <laughs> yeah. So apparently, Goodwill gives a veteran discount that I was previously unaware of until today. And uh, had I known that, I would have saved myself a lot of freaking money. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so yeah, there were some things in that Goodwill I was considering buying, but you know, there's some Hoka boots, tour hiking Hoka. Hoka 1-1 makes hiking boots as well. And there were, there were a pair that were mint, but they were just not brand new. I couldn't pull on trigger on them. But we're gonna go to another thrift store and check it out and see what we find. Okay. Next thrift store was like 30 seconds down the road, this family store, Salvation Army family store. I've never seen a lifted Trailhawk ever. That looks pretty cool. That looks pretty good. But nine times out of ten. Hello. Which one are you going to be? The $10 What you looking at? Pair of Tim's. Tim's. Waterproof. How much? I'd probably pass though. Six oh. or ten. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Not strong brand. Not strong enough yet. Well, these hustlers are going at it, man. I need to find some good things. I'm not trying to pressure myself. Did you see my bolo the other day with that Disney DuckTales sticker album? Yeah, yeah, it was good. I just sold the second one. Oh yeah. Nice. Where's that? How many did you get of these things? You got like 53. 53 of them. Yeah, and I've sold two <clears> so far. Where's cool. that? Oh, come on. Gosh, you found 50, how many at a garage sale? No, at Good, Goodwill, 53 of them. Selling them for an average of 20 bucks a piece. Yeah. Wow, dude. That's sure, crazy. Sure. Killing it. I wish I could resell for longer today, but I figure a good hot shot's good. Anything's better than nothing. Uh, so far for me, like I told you earlier, yeah. I know baking. Yeah. Nordic wear. Um, this is a Thanksgiving cake pan. It's got three bucks on it. Oh, that's cool. With Thanksgiving coming up, it could be 25 bucks. 25 you bucks? Know, these, even, they found them in Williams Sonoma for like $40, $50 brand new. And then right. I found me some all clad bowls. Is that good? Yes. Okay. Uh, used, these, they're going to be $6 yeah. used. These bowls are going for about 50 bucks. Oh, wow. Uh, 40, 40 to 50 that I just saw right now comps brand new, cool. 100 bucks. All right, cool. That's that brand I was telling you about, yeah. Clad. Yeah. All right. So, like I said, I stick to what I know. And... Yeah. Nice. Oh, so there, there are the soles on those bulls, All Clad pre-owned. Yeah. Nice, dude. 500 bucks for brand new. See? There you go. That's what I say. You stick with what you know. I would have never known. That's crazy. I uh, found a vintage T-shirt for two bucks. This is actually pretty cool. It's a vintage Oregon T-shirt. I love it. Two bucks. I'm a buyer all day on this one. This in my booth will go for around 25, 30 bucks all day. I think I got 100 bucks. What? So Manuel is a baker, um, or he just loves baking. So he's teaching us about pots and pans and like what sells, what doesn't, how to spot things quickly. Uh, so you can like just whip out the phone and start doing some brief research. This dude's flipping pans and odd kitchen related items for good money on off rep and other places he was showing us his account. Anyway, they're really interesting. About as interesting as a wolf on a shirt. 
Actually, it's more interesting <laughs> than a wolf on a shirt. And then, well, these are older, so it's from the 70s, but this what one's a reissue. This is the Garfield one from the, isn't it? No, different. Oh, it's a different one. This is a regular. Yeah. This is a 3D one. So oh, okay. This one you can stand up and decorate. That's yeah. just laying flat on a board. Oh, okay, cool. 1978. That's, that's the difference. Yeah, Jeez. this is like how these sometimes are like $10 that people. Oh, Dang. Who was it? <laughs> oh, it was Mark. <laughs> you got the cha ching. Pair of jeans. Oh, pair of jeans. All right. Got that Oregon shirt, and I also, right upon you know checking out, I saw this in the case. Scanned it, uh, yielding 81 bucks. It's five bucks here. It's sealed. It's new. Hands and all clad. All clad. Here, we'll put it right through. There you go. You can see it all clad. Wow. All clad. Yeah. You're learning some stuff. I got empty pockets. Yeah, but you're learning though. You got. You got full brain, empty got, pockets. No, yeah. Duke scored on the first door. We didn't. We, I walked out empty-handed on the That's first true. door. <laughs> this is the last first door of the day. Let's give it our best shot and check it out. All right, let's go in here. Great premium pepperoni and 100% real cheese. Premium pepperoni. A rusty hat. There's stuff everywhere here. Snowboard boots. I like to find single colors and then this. Like this is actually a good sign. This is called the this DOA, like you said. <laughs> yeah, but it's like yeah. torn apart. But I love finding this in a single. So if like more looks more like this, it's a strong brand plus that, it's probably worth nice. it. Okay. Definitely gonna be something here. It's a matter of like what well, is like, it? There's so much stuff here. Oh yeah, those are Olympic weights. Yeah, those would be worth it, but they have sixty-five dollars. Is that for all of it? Sixty-five for the whole set. Yeah, that'd be, probably be worth it in most respects. There's no way I but could take it home. Thing. That's a local. Yeah, local. I just found him a champion work. juicer. It's too much. It's too heavy for me to take home. It's about ten bucks here. My last one sold for ninety bucks on uh, Craigslist, or it might be even Facebook Marketplace. But yeah, so it has everything except for the tamper. But that's okay. Uh, basically, you stick your stuff in here. Use a carrot, and it comes out. But you can check it out. Do your research real quick. Make sure you you want it. But yeah, um, no, 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 it's a uh, you know. I think it works, and I know juicers do so. Yeah. It's a good juicer. We're done with the thrift store. We're at a little juice bar thing where I'm gonna get a acai bowl. But uh, Mark found a pair of Merrill's shoes at the last thrift store. It'll sell for around 40 bucks, something like that. We'll make 20 on it. And now we're sitting here at a juice bar. I cap off the hot shot right here, and that's basically it. But Look at that. That's a big drink. <laughs> acai bowls. Got myself a protein bowl right here. It's gonna be good. All right, we got done with those uh, bowls and everything. It's so good. Saying bye to the peeps right here. It was a lot of fun hanging out with them. They all got some good stuff, and the Champion Juicer was bought. All kinds of things were bought. Uh, but I want to say bye to them. I'll see you guys in one second. So I'm back here editing the video, and I look back at that time in California, which was just last week. It was just so much fun to hang out with those individuals. But more importantly, I realized two things. There are a lot of people that know a lot of stuff out there that I have no clue was worth some good money. And the second thing that I learned is that I probably shouldn't have done this on a Thursday. It would have been much better for me to do it on a weekend. And next time that I go to California or Charlotte or you know wherever, Arkansas or Colorado, and I do a thrifting thing, I'm gonna try to do it on the weekend so people that are working normal jobs could meet up with me and do a hot shot with me or something like that. So yeah, you know, I had so much fun in that little hot shot. And truthfully, uh, you know, the video, while it's only maybe 10 or 15 minutes long, the hot shot itself only took three hours like with the actual juices at the end so it was a lot of fun guys if you enjoy my videos don't forget to hit the like button don't forget to pick up the free guide so you can learn how to do some of this stuff at your spare time or in your hometown and i'll see you on the next bonafide hustler video take it easy goodbye